Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for a video where I'm going to go shopping using my cash envelopes for the week. So you're going to see a little bit of me shopping while I spend using the cash from my envelopes and the different categories that I will be using during the week. So this one's a little fun one because I actually went to Disney this week. So you're going to see a little bit of a Disney content. Um, some things that I purchased at Disney, some things I ate there, which is always fun. I, I try to also include other little bit snippets of my day there. Um, so you'll see that. And then just my regular shopping for the week. Um, I actually already pulled my envelopes and have started going shopping with them. So I pulled out beauty. I did some beauty shopping. Um, I didn't buy clothing stuff. You're going to see all of this in the video, Costco, Disneyland, Home, Household, Target. So I did pull all of these envelopes to shop with for the week. And you're going to see which ones I actually shopped um, from. And then at the end of the video, I will come back into my into this wallet and update. I need to update all of these trackers. But for now, you're going to see what I did during the week when it comes to spending from these envelopes. Also some little sneaks of product that I will be releasing soon. Um, sometime this month, I'm trying more, maybe in a week or two to release this. So I've been busy making things. So I give little sneaks of what will be coming soon to my shop. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy watching as I shopped. Hope you enjoy the little sneaks. Um, and yeah, just in general, hope you enjoy this video. Already on the board already, is it? The one you put up there? No. Okay, good. Did you want to do it? You got Italy. <laughs> So sorry I didn't film as much as I wanted to, but I had to stop filming. My fingers were starting to hurt. I've been having like a weird reaction to some gel nails that I recently did. So yeah, they're kind of healing right now from that. And this Disney day, it was really bad because I had just done it the night before. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share the two items that I purchased. I had like a really light shopping day. Um, I got, of course, a new pin. 
This one is really cute. I like that it has the year. So it says autumn 2024. And then this little piece moves. Like I like the ones that move. Anything that kind of moves. Like this one I just recently got. It moves. Really cute. Um, so I got this one with Chip and Dale. And again, I love that it says autumn 2024. I don't have any that like really have the year on it. I don't think so. So yeah, that one's a nice one. And then I got this little words project bracelet. Uh, they had some Disney themed ones that were really cute. There's a Mickey one and then there was, but I didn't really like how, what it said on it. So I didn't want to spend that much money on one that I didn't care for the saying or the color scheme. My sister bought a Donald Duck one. She, her favorite character is Donald Duck and it was super adorable. She was so happy she got it. She instantly put it on and within like an hour or two, it was gone. It had fallen off her wrist or like, I don't think it fell off her wrist. I think it maybe untied off her wrist or it just maybe snapped off and she didn't notice. But I was super bummed. She was bummed about that. We told her to go get another one, but she was like, why am I gonna spend, the one that she got was 30 plus her discount. Uh, but why is she gonna go spend a ridiculous amount of money on, an, on a bracelet that just broke within a few hours. So I was sad for her because I knew she really, really liked that one. It was super, out of all of the characters, that Donald Duck one was the cutest one. So I got one, I, ha I didn't put it on yet because I wanted to show it all packaged up like this, but now I'm worried about wearing it. I mean, I've made bracelets like this before in the past, but I've, yeah, I've worn them and I've made them and i know you have to like really tie them i don't know i wanted to add like little charms on this like some disney ones because it's not very disney fied it's just this wish on it um so i wanted to get some charms that said or maybe like a castle charm or something just to make it more disney like so we'll see i know i'm worried about wearing it so so i don't know but i did get these two items i'm gonna put this one up on my board because this needs to go up here and then i will show my board as it is okay so there is the pin on the board super adorable and then i'll just do like a little overview of all the pins so far i am like getting to the very bottom of that thing so i will probably have to get another board soon which i'm totally cool with i'm totally fine with uh because this collection is growing very nicely and it's a good like decor piece in my room i really love looking at it so i can't wait to have another board i don't know what i might get a different kind i'm not sure but this one will, once it's filled, it will still be displayed in my, in my, in my room somewhere. Um, but yeah, that is it for now. That is the pin that I got. Super cute. Love it. Um, but yeah, thanks for being interested in this because I enjoy sharing it. So I'm glad that some people are really into seeing this. All right. So that is it for this little pin board. So a little behind the scenes of what I'm doing today. Since I don't think this video is going to be very long, I really didn't do too much shopping, so yeah. And I didn't film the shop with me in my grocery haul. Yeah, so a little short, so I figured I might as well just give a little sneak of things coming to my shop. I'm trying my best to get as much done as I can this weekend, so that way I can have this stuff up and ready to go hopefully soon I'll announce that once once I feel like once this weekend passes I'll have a better idea of when I can um it's just a matter of making the things that I want to make everything else is kind of good to go like when it comes to binders and wallets so so yeah I have these little since people have been liking the ones I added in my envelopes I'm gonna do some variations of the the envelopes that I've been currently using that I changed to so I have a Christmas one, definitely doing this one because this one is super adorable. A Disneyland one because I have a few interests in that. And then I did a Halloween one. This one's really cute. I found this new um, artwork and I thought that one was super cute. And then I'm doing the like floral, the gray tone, like kind of neutrally with some common words, some common uh, categories for envelopes. And then they will come with these really nice uh, plasticky envelopes which are very durable very sturdy highly recommend so these will be sold together like if you buy one of these um envelopes they'll come with the well, one of these categories you'll come with an envelope so yeah currently just making all the things right now cutting all the things 
so yeah i have them all kind of cut here and just working my way through this i also plan on doing some placeholders so i need to do that too i want to do the placeholders that i have where they look like money like the actual bills because i use those in my system and i know a lot of people like those too and then just restock some things that i had already had on my site and have that ready to go so yeah lots of things um, but i'm working on these envelopes too right now watching a little youtube actually this is my sister's channel if you're not already give her a little subscribe over there we're trying to get her to a thousand subscribers she does really cute like journaling stuff this i'm a, sometimes she she saves things and she says she's gonna put in her journal and then the way that she uses them in her journal i'm always like amazed like she took this guide map from California Adventure and then she put pictures and it's amazing I'm super jealous I want I want one for myself and I think next time I go to Disney I'm gonna do <laughs> the same thing and grab the guide maps because they're always different like they, they change the theme and then I can like put pictures in them and journal in them I think that was a cute idea and I don't know why I've never done it I've seen her do it before and yeah need to do that so definitely give her a follow because she has really cute journaling kind of inspiration stuff over there really cutesy stuff there's my nephew <laughs> really cute uh but yeah give her a follow her her channel will be in my um, description but yeah i'm just working away on these oh i'm going to show some other stuff that little more sneaks um throughout the video so definitely stay tuned for that these are the placeholders i want to bring into the shop so yeah i like these because they just look like regular money so I'll make sure to do hundreds 500 which i already have a thousand i think those are the ones that i've been using so i feel like those will be good to add to the shop and they'll be vellum and matte lamination so yeah these will be coming soon so i'm breaking up my grocery hauls because i haven't gone to that grocery store yet i just went to costco so i'm just going to share what i got at costco and then i'll have another little haul of my grocery shopping for the week but i did spend costco money and i'll I think I just spent Costco money on this. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but I did grab a couple of things. I went in without a list. I had to go and get pastries for my coworkers, so I, I just had to get that done right in the like right when they opened, because I don't like going after that because it's madness over there. Um, so while I was there, I just kind of looked around to see if there was anything that kind of caught my eye. Um, and they have soups again because that's a seasonal thing that they stock there. So soups are back. Very excited for that because I'm going to have soup and salad and probably like a piece of bread or something for lunches. That, that'll be super, super easy, especially since I got this little chopped kit and I can put that together. So I got that Asian cashew chopped kit. I'll do a salad, soup, like I said, a piece of bread for lunch at work um, and probably just some fruit uh for snacking and things like that uh and i'll show all that when i whatever i prepare and then oh i got these because i thought i wanted something like a sweet treat i always get like a sweet treat but i like this like fruity little fruit roll-up kind of things i guess they're whips i don't know i never had them but they look good and i love berry flavored stuff so that one was good got some grapes and some strawberries and oh, this kind of caught my eye. <laughs> I saw this in the street corn dip. That looks pretty good. I might get some like little chips from Trader Joe's to dip with that. So yeah, we'll see how that is. Um, it was on sale, I think. And then I got broccoli because I always stock. I always make sure I have like these broccoli packs in my freezer. So these always last. These are always good. Goodbye. It has like four packets in here. So broccoli and the rest of that. I, I kind of have an idea of my meal plan for the week. Like I said, lunch, this is lunch basically. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That is my Costco haul. All right, so I went shopping. I didn't film it, it was just so late and it's just, I just did not have time. I did not have time. I'm super, super behind on everything. So I'm sorry for not filming it because I usually do that. Um, but it wasn't that much of a grocery haul. And I just, honestly, a lot of the things I already have for what I'm gonna make. So for my dinners, I'm doing a like Korean barbecue with rice, chicken, that kind of thing, which I've done before, but this is a different recipe. So I wanted to try out a different recipe just to see 
like which one I liked better. And again, if it's good, I will link it down in the description. Um, but I, all I needed to buy for that were the chicken thighs, onions. Um, I needed more soy sauce just to have on hand. I have enough for my meal. Um, oh, and then the cucumbers. I think that's it. I had everything else. So didn't have to buy much for that. Um, and then I already bought the things for my lunch I, from Costco, which I shared earlier. I bought soup and salad. But I realized because I, I ate that for lunch, I realized it wasn't filling enough for me. So I'm going to do like a little sandwich with these wine rolls. So I got, I'll probably do a sandwich with soup. Um, I could do a salad too. But I got some cheese and some turkey. This is like a Cajun turkey, which is really good. Um, so that's lunch taken care of for breakfast. What was I doing? I was doing some like a yogurt parfait kind of thing. Um, which I already got strawberries and I already had yogurt. So again, I didn't have to buy much cause I already had stuff from last week. So yeah, I was able to stock up on some things that I kind of wanted just to have on hand, like some pickles. I always love pickles. I love pickles. So always have those in the fridge. Um, I wanted some cereals. I got some checks. I wanted some chips because I got, um, well, for my for my lunch. And then I got these corn ones. I love this leaf one. I don't know why, but these leaf, like fall leaf ones from Trader Joe's, those are always my favorite. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think they taste any different. Maybe I just kind of make myself think they do, but they're really good. So every fall, I always get those <laughs> uh, whenever I see them. I'm going to eat that with that corn thing that I got from Costco because I haven't tried that out. And then I just got some cottage cheese to have with my rice cakes. Oh, and then I kind of went a little, I want to try some little snacks and stuff. Oh, I got lettuce because I always have like lettuce on hand for salads. Um, but, oh, and also for my sandwich. <laughs> I got these like chomps. So I wanted something to just have in my bag if I, if I need something. Um, so I got this just for like snacks. I've been really liking these barbells or bear bells, um, little protein bars. These taste really good. Um, so I had, I got a few of these. I got the cookies and cream from this box from Target. And then I got these caramel cashew single ones from Trader Joe's. I got another one too. Oh yeah, this is, just to try it. This one is a creamy crisp one. So I got enough bars. This is going to be... Yeah, this will cover me for a little bit because I don't eat them every day. Um, so I got some of those because I like them. Good find. Um, also gum because I've been eating gum at work. So I got some gum. Oh, and baking powder. So I usually try to keep like all the essential pantry stuff for cooking, baking, that kind of thing stopped. And I went to go make some banana bread kind of thing and realized while I was making it because I assumed I had this, realized I didn't have this and that totally messed everything up so and it was so late at night I was making it so late at night and then I realized I didn't have baking powder which is kind of essential so I bought some of this I'm gonna try to be better about just checking my um stock of my pantry which I have been I got a little um magnetic thing that I have on the side of my fridge where I can write things down and I've been doing that so that's been helping me keep account of the things I need um but yeah that's basically my haul, a nice little haul. Again, sorry I didn't film it, but um, that's basically what I have. It. So I have some of the wallets. I'm still going through them, just all these to make sure that they are okay, like they're not damaged. I found a couple that have little slight imperfections, so I'm holding off on those. Um, I might do like a mess up, like a, what, like an oopsie kind of sale of them but nine times you know I haven't found that many so and I want to keep one of each color so I'll kind of work out um but I have these binders these are new so I got like a few of these colors actually a lot they have a lot of colors to choose from so there's some that look very very similar but they're very different not the same like these are two different ones it's hard to tell, but they are different. Um, so I have like different tones of browns, like beige colors, it's just, like some fun. Like the pink one that I have currently, there's a darker pink one somewhere in here. It's really pretty too. So, so different tones of colors, 
um, that we'll be releasing and I'm just kind of checking them all, making sure that they're okay. Uh, and yeah, once I see like which ones kind of do popular and I can order more of them, I just, especially with the browns, I wasn't sure which ones to go with, but I feel like the pretty color ones, people are going to really like those. So, so yeah. And then I got tons of these wallets. This one's a new color in the wallet that I use. Um, so yeah, lots to go through and these are going to be on sale soon. Hopefully very, very, very soon. And I will announce the date, um, once I figure that out. So I went to Ulta and I got a couple of things, but I first wanted to mention that I was able to use a gift card to make this purchase. Let me see if the receipt's still there. Okay. So I used a gift card, a $50 gift card, and I got that off of Fetch. So if you're not sure, if you never used Fetch before, definitely check it out because uh, I was able to use that just from people who have used my code. You get points, I get points. So thank you, thank you so much if you have ever used my code just as your first like as we're for all because I get points and it, like I said, you get points for doing that. Also, if you if you take a picture of this receipt, like I'm gonna take a picture of this receipt once I'm done. Um, I'm gonna take a picture and in the app, and then they'll give me usually at least 25 points. And then once you accumulate so many points, you'll you'll get you'll get, be able to get gift cards. And there's a bunch of different gift cards, not just Ulta. They have like Target. They have some to food places. Um, but yeah, there's a few that you can choose from. I usually like to do like Ulta and Sephora and Target because then I can buy pricier items that I need without having to spend too much, which is nice. So because I had that fifty dollar gift card, I was able to get my cleanser which I like to use this Murad one, and I believe that one was like $44 plus tax. So that was about the $50 for the gift card. Again, thank you for that. And then I got some Dashing Diva nails because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I people always ask me about my nails, and I used to do my, my, um, my own gel nails with like the lamp, everything but I don't know what happened they must have changed how they make the polish or something but I started having some like allergic reactions to it which has not been fun um and I had a reaction a few months ago and then I stopped using them and everything got better and then for some reason I decided oh yeah it was because I didn't have any <laughs> any of these left I started I was using these and this this doesn't this doesn't hurt my my nails um but i didn't have any more of this to do my nails and i decided oh i'll just you, you know do a quick gel manicure for one day and then go and buy these and that was a mistake so <laughs> within like an hour it was already like i was starting to feel all the all the symptoms all the bad symptoms <laughs> the itchiness and the tenderness and the yeah it was really really bad so i had to take it off and then i ended up putting up these and I did a really bad job of it because by that time my fingers really, really hurt. So I couldn't put them on very well. But I got some of the, I like these gel ones because you can put them under the light. For me, the, the light is not the issue um, because I've already used these in the past and they never, I've, I haven't had any um, side effects from it. So these are nice because it's like a little sticker and then you put it on and then cut it, size it and all that to your finger. And then you put it under the lamp and it hardens and it really does feel like a gel nail. And, and they last like up to, I've, I've had it, yeah, up to four, two weeks. So they're really, really nice, um, easy to put on. They cure very fast and that's why I like them. So I got this pair. This pair was, how much is this one? It was about, Oh, they were 30% off right now. So it was 9.09 for this, 30% off. So that's not bad. Um, but now I'm gonna have to budget for this kind of stuff a little bit more because, yeah, it is what it is. 
I like using them, so thankfully it works. The little sticker ones, the ones that you don't put in under the light are a lot cheaper, but these, these, they feel better. So I like these. Um, and then there's some that have cute patterns and stuff. So yeah, that's my whole nail story. Um, yeah, I won't be doing my own gel manicures from moving forward because I just, that was, it was just not, it hasn't been a good experience this year with it. Um, so yeah, this will be moving forward and also like maybe regular polish <laughs> once I figure out how to do that because the dry time on those, I don't know about that. I'm very impatient with it. So I don't know if I can do that, but I like these because it's very quick and easy to put them on. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, since I, I had that gift card, I only had to pay $8 in cash for them beauty. So yeah, thank you again. And yeah, that is my beauty purchase for the week. All right, so now that all of the shopping for the week is done, I can go into my envelopes and update them. So first up, I'm actually going to do beauty. And I spent from beauty and I have a leftover. So I use that gift card, so that really helps with beauty. Um, so I have a leftover of 20, 40, 51. $51 left. Um, minus eight, 51, yeah, 51. Okay, so that one is done. Family, I, oh, I'm gonna take it out. It's easier for me to just do it this way, but I almost, instead of pulling it out that way. So I did, did I spend from family? Yes, I did spend from family. So when I'm around my family and like, if I'm buying stuff for them too, um, like at Disney, which you saw, usually my family and I, we will take turns buying food for each other. So sometimes like I'm paying or sometimes they're paying or sometimes we go half and half, that kind of thing. So I did use from family just to help with that because if I was just going by myself, then my Disney budget budget would be okay. But since I'm also like have to account for budgeting or, you know, buying things for my family too, um, then I, I start pulling from family. So I like to combine my envelopes for different reasons um, and it works out. It works out great for me. So, so yeah, that's kind of how I do it. Uh, so here I started with 70 and I'm left with 30. So that means I spent 40. I didn't show because I didn't show all of the things that I bought this week. Um, sometimes I remember to film and sometimes I don't or it's just not as convenient or sometimes I don't feel comfortable filming in certain places. But um, I did we did have a chicken dinner with like a salad and we, we ended up splitting that one in half, I believe. Yeah, so I think that's what I used family for. Clothing, did I buy anything with clothing? So I have 47, 10, 20, 30, 45, so no, I didn't spend clothing. Okay, so nothing in clothing this week. This one is good still. Okay, that's clothing. Costco, oh, I did spend from Costco and I spent everything from Costco. So that is $54, and I'm going to zero that out. I don't plan on going to Costco this weekend, so I have time to let that grow a little bit more. Disneyland. Okay, so I definitely spent from Disney. Let's see what I have left over from the spending. We bought a lot. Of, we actually ate quite a bit. We had some beignets, oh, a really good sandwich. That sandwich, I've never had lunch at that Holly Jolly is that how, what that's called? Holly Jolly? Jolly Holiday. I always want to call it Holly Jolly. Jolly Holiday. Um, I always have breakfast from there or like the pastries. But I've never had lunch. And that sandwich with the chips, oh my goodness. We're definitely getting that again. It was so good. And I think it was only $11. I was actually surprised it came with that big bag of chips because we it was $11, $11, $12. Plus we got a discount on top of that. So amazing deal and we shared it like my sister and my brother-in-law got a sandwich too they got a turkey sandwich and then we just cut it in thirds and we I got a third of their sandwich and they got a third of my they got each a third of mine so that was enough like it was enough food especially with the chips so yeah good good deal we like to try a lot of different things so it helps when you have people that don't mind sharing 10 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 dollars left yeah, because if you can share 
then you'll be able to eat a lot more and you won't get full as fast so you'll be able to do that so that's why we like um sharing the meals and you know also trading off on who buys so that also helps too with the funds of it all okay so i have a leftover of 50 or i sorry i spent 54 54 dollars five six seven yes 54 dollars okay so i bought that bracelet i bought the pin with this money so yeah did that with that and i'm left with 26 and i'm not going to disney maybe for another week or so so we'll see home i don't remember if i spent anything for home i don't think i did i have 30 oh i must have actually i can't even remember what i bought from home uh oh what did i buy i probably didn't film it too so it happens so i'm left with 30. I spent 10 somewhere. Sometimes the week is a blur. And you know, I wish uh, I would update these the minute I spend. Like, I would suggest doing it that way. Um, but I like to do it on camera all in one shot. Just makes it a little bit easier filming wise. So it happens. All right. So I have household. I did spend from household. I didn't film this part, but I did buy a couple of cleaning products. So I have 10, 20, 25 in household. Household. Okay. So that's 25 and I spent 20 and that's the date. Okay. So 25 in household. Okay. And then target. I don't remember if I spent anything from Target. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay. So that one's good. All right. So that is it for updating my envelopes. So I'm just going to take out all of these because now they're just going to go back into the, binder, the binders, which I believe they all came out of the same binder. So we're good. Oh, no, they didn't. Came out of these, all came out of the same binder, which is this one. This one tends to be my most used binder. So I'm just gonna put these in alphabetical order. This just makes, I like putting this in alphabetical order. Um, F, um, um, okay. All right, so then I can put these back in. So I got beauty, clothing, and then Costco. And then family, gifts, and then the rest go in the back. Okay, perfect. And then I forgot one binder. I need to grab my pink binder to put Disneyland back in here. I'm just going to put it here. All right, so that is it. Binder or Envelopes are all updated back in the correct binders and that is it for shopping for this week so i hope you enjoyed watching as i shopped with using my envelopes also if you enjoyed those sneaks let me know down in the comments which products you're looking to hopefully purchase when i launch them because i want to get an idea of like which pe which ones people are eyeing more so i know if i need to make more um but yeah that would really help so yeah let me know down in the comments but yeah thank you so much for watching especially if you watched to the very end i really appreciate you being here taking the time out of your day to do that but thank you again so much for watching and i will see you in the next video